Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Andrea Ali. I'm a professional makeup artist based in Paris. And in today's video, I'm going to do a full summer look. I've assembled for you the perfect summer look. Obviously, I'm going to talk about uh, preparation of the skin so everything that I use before foundation and concealer and everything else in order for your makeup to last in order for your makeup to have that beautiful glow without looking um, like it's without looking like too much obviously this is like full makeup look it's uh, something that I would wear for a special occasion uh, something that I would wear more like in the evening because there is a lot of glow happening however if you take off the eyes and maybe the lip contour which is pretty strong I think that you are being left with something that you could wear every single day now, if you'd like to see how I've created this look, I strongly recommend you to watch the whole video because I'm using a lot of new products, I'm showing you a lot of techniques, so keep on watching. You know what? I'm going to start with this unbelievable product that I think is going to be my go-to product to have everywhere I go this summer. This is from a brand called Naked Sundays and it's a hydrating glow mist that has SPF 50. And here's the thing, do you know those days when you're on vacation or you're just like walking around, you're wearing something off the shoulders like I'm wearing right now and maybe you haven't been applying SPF on your body, just on your face and end of the day, bam, you see that your shoulders are kind of burnt and red and angry. This is where I think this mist is going to come in handy because it's so easy to use. And listen, I've already used it on this side because I wanted you to see the glow. I've applied this about an hour ago and I have nothing in here. Let me apply. I only did like one, one pump. It's so easy to use. You guys, look at this glow, glow and it stays. This stays. Let me apply a little bit more. Yes, this is the glow I need this summer. Exactly what I need this summer. I love it. The good thing about this is that it dries. It's not sticky at all. I'll be honest with you. I haven't applied it on the face, but for the body, I feel it's unbelievable. I'm going to do my eyebrows now before I do any skincare or any primer because in summer in particular, can you get closer please? All right, in summer, obviously products are melting on our face because of the heat. So I like to apply my brow product first. before any skincare because I feel like once you have the skincare on and you have that you know hydrating base when you go with your brow products they're not gonna last as good so especially in summer I suggest you to use the brow whatever brow product you use use that first before your skincare this is Brow Wiz from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Nothing new, although I am going to use a lot of new products in this video. And then in order to set everything in place, I'll be using this Kimiko. This is called the Brow Sensei. It's a great gel that's not too harsh on your eyebrows. I'm going to do a very nice skincare base, something that you could take as a model for your summer makeup. I'm going to start with this Wisman Atelier. Wait. This Wisman Atelier serum, I love the packaging. I love what it looks like, but what I really like is the product. This has 12 potent ingredients. I need about two pumps for the full for the whole face. It 
this has such nice texture. I love the serum. While it's still a little sticky, by the way, this is not sticky. It's just like for a few minutes after you apply it. And then it becomes like this beautiful velvety texture. I'm going to apply the Ole Henriksen Banana Bright Mineral Sunscreen. And the reason why I go after the serum, I go straight into the sunscreen is because in summer, I feel like if I apply moisturizer and then sunscreen, it almost feels like too much and my makeup melts. I really like this as my moisturizer and my SPF. This has SPF 30 and it's really nice and brightening. Aren't these the best nails you saw on me so far? Comment please down below because I I've never done my nails with acrylic. And I kept on saying on Instagram that I did gel. It's only because in here, when you say gel, it means acrylic. And what is gel in English is actually what we call here semi-permanent. It's like a semi-permanent polish. But I love these. I love these nails so much. You guys, this creates an amazing base for makeup, especially if you have normal, dry, mature, but even, I find that even for oily skin, this could work. Definitely works if you have combination skin. I do have combination skin. Look what a nice brightening effect this has. Now, because my skin is combination, I tend to have very large pores in between my eyebrows and here and on my chin. So I'm going to use this new Milk Makeup Primer. This is Pore Eclipse Mattifying Primer. And this is really one of a kind because it's a clean product. It will not clog your pores. And I kind of press it into the skin and I don't know if you can see how it immediately mattifies wherever you apply this. Your skin becomes pretty matte. So chin. Here. And in between my eyebrows. really nice I promise you you will love this if, especially if you um, if you're someone that has oily skin and then the last product that I'm going to use is going to be this Ule Henriksen banana bright vitamin C stick this is great for those no makeup makeup days but not only you could apply this under your makeup it has caffeine you know that caffeine works Caffeine always works to sort of tighten the skin. And I know this because I have a friend that um, she's a bodybuilder. And before competition, they will use caffeine on their body so that the skin looks tighter. And she's like, oh, this is one product that I have to use. She does scrub with caffeine. She swears by it. I really like this because it immediately bright brightens the eye. Immediately. Great for no makeup makeup days, but also really great under makeup. Strongly, strongly recommend this. Now let's get into the actual makeup. But I'm gonna just give it a little wind. As always, I start with concealer. I am very, very happy with this one from Hourglass. Can we get closer still? Sorry. Okay. This should be enough a little bit here. Okay, let's use this brush from Refer. This is number 36. This is the first layer of concealer. 
I might not have to apply another one. But always start with a very, very thin layer of concealer. And then what's left on my brush, I like to get it on the brow bone. Once this area is nice and even, when you even out the skin tone around your eyes, bam, you just look like you had a good night's sleep. Just this step only. And then by applying concealer here that is slightly lighter, I'm actually erasing the shadows. You see? It's a little bit of darkness. You apply this and bam, it's just better. Next, I'm going to actually make a mixture between the All Hours Foundation from YSL and the Ambient Soft Glow Foundation from Hourglass. Now, these two together match made in heaven. I like them separately. For example, I love to use Hourglass for a very long lasting makeup look. If I want to have like a full time glam, like a like a beautiful summer long lasting makeup look. If I were a bride, I would definitely wear this. Um, this is think about luminous silk with more coverage, but that beautiful glow. You got that beautiful glow together. It's like in between. It's not too matte. It's not too glowy, but you have the really great longevity with this one. And then you have a little bit more glow with this. And like I said, together, it's like, ooh, so good. I'm gonna make sure on the back of my hand. And then I'll dot it. I'm using All Hours LW4 and Ambient in 6.5. Also great, really great color as well. Now, this is slightly warmer than my actual skin tone, but that's exactly what I want. Because I want to take the colors of my shoulders, obviously I'm a little bit darker. The neck will always be lighter, you guys. So if you're trying to match your foundation to your neck, it's going to be way too light in my opinion. I'm using this brush to sort of press the foundation. You will have better coverage like this. A little bit on the nose. I don't like a lot of product on my nose. I have the impression that when you apply foundation, like a lot of foundation on your nose, your whole face looks like you have so much product on. Freck has this new product, it's called a face hack, and I love how small and cute this is. So it looks like a mini product, but it's actually the original product. It has a little roller in here, you twist it, the product comes out, it comes in three different shades. This is medium tan, and I'm gonna go in this area with it. And a little bit here. You know the drill. You apply this wherever you want to make your skin look like it has that sun-kissed look. Don't forget the nose. A little bit on the chin. Let me use this brush to blend. This is from Zoeva 135. And because I don't want to do any motions like this, I just kind of Press the product, go on the edges. It's pretty matte, it doesn't have like a crazy amount of glow, which is great in summer especially. I mean, you want the glow, you want something, you want creamy products, you want to feel nice and comfortable. Um, but I feel like when it's too glowy, almost looks greasy and sweaty. So I just press 
with the brush on top of it until it kind of melts into the skin. And then for my nose, I just pinch my brush so that I don't use another one. This is like a soft contour. I take my concealer brush, I go over the edges, and then I go in the center like so. And then I love a good cream blush. And I have these two colors, let me show you. Isn't this so nice? For like every day, a little bit of color, but not crazy. This is from Violette. It's Bisou Blush in Louis. And then the other color is a bit more bright. This is so pretty as well. This one is in Ines. I think I'm going to use Louis. I love these colors a lot. By the way, on the other side, you have a brush that I will personally never use. Actually, you know what? Let's use it. Let's see if it actually works. So I'm going to apply the blush more like here. And then take the other side. Use this brush as if it was a beauty blender. So just press it until it kind of disappears into the skin. Love this color a lot, a lot, a lot. This is so beautiful for summer. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. So we have the cream product. I love, I love what the skin looks like right now. But I need to set, I mean, it's up to you, but I have to set my makeup with the powder because it, I know my skin, it will not last. And this say this say powder for me i don't use this for my clients this is more for everyday makeup because it's not like a super mattifying powder actually it's not mattifying at all it actually gives you a, a glow i take it on a fluffy brush but first do the sexy face Make sure that your concealer is not creased. And then take powder. For under eyes, right now, this is my go-to powder. I know you're in there. I usually take the powder on the cap. So I apply this under the eyes. Pretty much on the center of the face, right? It gives you a super nice glow. Sets the makeup in place, but like I said, it's not fully matte. So if you have dry skin, especially if you have dry skin, this is going to be your go-to powder. I know this. So a little bit on the chin. And then for the under eyes only, I'll use my Givenchy, the pressed powder. And you know, the drill, you mix it, you mix it all the colors together. This is a great powder to have in your bag for retouch. Now I know that my makeup is going to be set with these two powders, like whew, perfection. I wasn't really a big fan of this glowish thing from Huda Beauty, but I really like it now. I think it's like a hybrid between a finishing powder, a bronzer, a little bit of highlighter. It's not, it's, it's very beautiful on the skin, I have to say. And this color medium, Soft Radiance Bronzing Powder. Uh, this color medium is really nice. I'll use it with this Hakuhodo very old brush. 
B104. And again, I'll just go over like so, just to warm up the skin a little further, give it more dimension. And that's, that's it. Now what's left on my brush? Apply it on the neck because now the neck is crazy light. By the way, I will link this gorgeous dress in the description down below. You need this in your life. Just whatever I had left on my concealer brush, I will apply it on the eyelids as my base. And then I really wanted to use this palette. This is so pretty from Dior. And I'm gonna start with the color in the middle with a Refer 01 brush. Oh, so nice. Wow, this color. under to you know the drill i kind of like to hug the eye with this get a little bit right here the inner corner then i'm going to take this color right here this brighter orange we're going to get this on the eyelid with a I know it's from Refer, but it doesn't have a name because this was just a sample. Oh wow, love it. What a great color, especially if you have blue eyes or brown. This is going to be so beautiful on you. And then I'm going to take, let's see, let's take this color with fingers. Get it on the middle for that spotlight effect. Oh, love, 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 love. I actually think I need a brush for this. Okay, I took a Spectrum and Ash Comb brush. They did a collab. And I took this brush number 17. I still don't like how it applies with a brush. It's much better with fingers, actually. I'm gonna continue with the finger. Yes. Just on the center. And then I'll take the lightest color in the pan with a brush. And apply on the inner corner and even further on the center. I want to make the center slightly lighter. And then I've taken this tiny brush number 23 from Refer to apply the darkest color in the palette. Get it at the base of the lower lashes and at the base of the top lashes. And 
and then I take this BK Beauty 203 brush just to blend the edge like so. Next, of course, is going to be Lash Clash if I want a super long lasting mascara, the one that is smudge proof, regardless of how hot or humid the weather is. This is my go-to for summer. And you know what? There is another one that really lasts amazing. The Sweet Lashes um, Lash Lift. That one is unbelievable. Just like this, it's not gonna smudge. The only thing about that one is that it doesn't have as much volume. Like with this, they have that heavy look, which I personally love. With Swede, I love to use it more like every day because it separates the lashes so well. It's also about like how much product you're using. Now on the lips, I'll apply this lip liner from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is in cool brown. And you guys know I like to overline. Just the cupid's bow. I love this pencil so, so much. I cannot even begin to tell you how much I adore the formula and also the colors available. I know it looks very dark now, but bear with me. I'll take a small brush like this from BK Beauty 206. And I push the product towards the inside of the lip. And now I'm going to use a little bit of powder on top because powder will make this last longer but will also lighten up a little bit. So powder. Then as my base, this is definitely not something that I love to use a lot, but this is mandatory to have in my kit because it's like a good lipstick to mix it with others in order to get like a nice color. So I want to get rid of the color of my lip. That's why I'm using this. I want to make something that's a lot lighter. Again, mix it. Taking a little bit more in the center. And then I have so many lip options for you. So, so many. I really like this new uh, one, uh, Lip Volupte Candy Glaze from YSL. This is unbelievable. But I think what we are all going to use this summer is going to be something more like in a, in this type of form, more like, you know, jelly, glossy, but not sticky type of formula. This has the craziest shine. I think a lot of you would love this. It's from Vive. It's called Lip Dew in the shade Lip Dew, glossy lip oil. Um, she doesn't have like a crazy amount of colors, so it's easy for you to find it. I bought this from Harrods. I was so happy to see Jamie's brand in there. I love her so much. I didn't want to apply it with an applicator. 
because I already had that lipstick on my lips. Mm, love. I love because the eyelids are not crazy shiny. I think that it works to have like a super glossy lip. But now I feel like there's something missing on the cheeks. We need a little bit more color. Give me one second. I needed a little bit of blush and I think this is the perfect one. Dior Backstage in Rosy Glow 004 Coral. And I'll take it with this brush. Yes, yes. This is gonna give me life. Okay. This is exactly what it needed. Do you guys see? Look at this, the difference. Difference is huge, major. Now I'll take my concealer brush, go a little bit over the edge. Sometimes I can go overboard with my, with my blush. And then in order to give glow to your body, but I mean like crazy glow, I dare you. I dare you to try this Vive Skin Dew. I dare you. This is absolutely insane. Where do I want to apply this for you to see? Because I my hands are dirty. Do you see this? It's like melted metal. Okay, I'm gonna take this with a with a beauty blender. This is great for your body. Like you could apply this on your shoulders for extra glow, but it's great for your face as well. I got the big version of this for my kit because I use this a lot on clients. Now, the trick about this to make, to make it look very, you know, very beautiful and classy and not, you know, like a cheap looking makeup is to apply very, very little very small amount, a little bit on the nose, like so. And then I go over with the clean part of the beauty blender, just to make sure that it's not overly dewy. And here's the result. He had to be like right on my cheek. Now, if you're looking for something that will mattify the skin, I'm not going to use this because it's not my vibe, but this is great if you want to mattify the skin. It's from Milk. Let's just say you only have crazy oily skin on the T-zone. Use this only, only on the T-zone. It, it's really working. For me, I love this. Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. Everything I need. Okay, and this is the final look. With the glow that we have from this. And then I just wanted to give a shout out to Cinco for creating these magnificent earrings. These are so nice. Obviously when I wear something like this, my hair will be pulled back and I'm not gonna wear any other jewelry. I mean, I have this also from Cinco, but it's quite discreet. Nothing else on my neck, obviously. I just love, love these statement earrings, and I know that they look heavy, but they're not, because they're empty on the inside. The dress, I'll put a picture in here with this fantastic dress from a brand called Pose, or Pose. I wish I knew how to pronounce this. Hope you enjoyed this. As usual, everything that I've mentioned is linked in the description down below. Don't forget that you have a code that you can use for single jewelry, everything that you want from the website. Follow me on Instagram, on TikTok, and make sure that you're subscribed to my YouTube channel because I post a video every Sunday and then throughout the week you will have small little videos on shorts. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!